it's Rainbow Limitivities, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this adorable little alien charm from Disney's Toy Story 3. So let's get started. For this design, I suggest using a metal tipped hook because this design uses double bands, so it will put a lot of tension on those regular plastic hooks. To start off, take two green rubber bands and place it from the first pin out to the right. Repeat this step, taking two green, placing it from the first time out to the left this time. Take two more and place it straight down on the right side of the loom. Repeat this step on the left side. Take two more green and place it down one time in the center of the loom. Repeat this step, taking two more green and placing it straight down in the center of the loom one more time. Take two green rubber bands and place it from the first pin on the right down one. Take two more green and place it from the second pin on the left down one this time. Take two more green and place it from the center pin down one. Select two more green and place it from the right pin onto the center peg. Repeat this step on the left side with two green from the left pin this time into the center. Your loom should look like mine. To form the alien's neck, take two green rubber bands and double them over on themselves. Like this. Take it from the center pin down one. For the alien's neck, select two purple and place it from that neck pin out to the left. Repeat this step on the right, taking two more purple and placing it out to the right. To make your alien spacesuit, take two light blue bands and place it from that right shoulder pin down one. Repeat on the left side with two more of your blue bands from the left pin out down one. Take two more blue and place it straight down on that center pin. After placing that first pin down on the center, select two dark blue bands this time and place it straight down one. Repeat this step on the right side, going straight down one with your dark blue bands. Repeat it again on the left side with two dark blue straight down on the left side. Now switch back to your light blue bands and go straight down one on the center pin. Repeat this step on both the right and the left side with two more bands going straight down on each side. Your loom should look like mine. Take two more light blue bands and place it straight down in the center. This forms your alien spacesuit. To form your alien's legs, take two light blue bands and place it on the right pin down one and two more on the left pin down one. Take a dark blue band and wrap it around the right pin four times. Your loom should look like mine. Repeat this step on the left side, wrapping the band around four times. Your loom should look like mine. For your alien's hand, take a single green and wrap it around the pen two times to create three loops for the three little fingers on your alien's hand. Repeat this step on the other hand, taking a single green and wrapping it around two times to create three loops. Your loom should look like mine. We now need to cap the bottom half of our alien. Taking a light blue, 
go under the blue ca dark blue cap bands and form a triangle. Make sure to go under the dark blue cap bands that are wrapped around the feet. Taking your hook, take that bottom part of the triangle and lift it up onto the center pin. Make sure that this blue cap band is underneath the dark blue cap band. Your loom should look like mine. Take another light blue band and wrap it around these three pegs to form a triangle, capping it. Take a, another light blue band and wrap it around once more. Take a dark blue band this time and form another triangle on the next band. Take a purple band and wrap it around the three shoulder pins. Your loom should look like mine. We now need to create our aliens, eyes, head bopper, and ears. To do the eyes, take a single black band and wrap it around your hook three times to create four loops. Now take a single white band and wrap it around your hook in a special way. Go underneath the black band and wrap it around twice. Now go to the top of the black band and wrap it around twice. This gives it the cartoony look. Repeat this step for the other two eyes. You can pause here to make the other eyes. Now that you have your three eyes made, take a single green band and slip it under the tip of your hook. Take all of the rubber bands off your hook and onto the green rubber band. This may take a couple of tries and is very difficult. I'll wait for you to do that. Pause here if you need to get the eyes on the green band. Once you have the three eyes on your hook, Take them carefully and put them on these two pins of your creation. Your loom should look like mine. To create your alien's little head thing, you need to take a single green rubber band and wrap it around your hook three times to create four loops. Depending on the size that you want his little head, this was only one, I'm going to show you how to do two. You can vary your rubber band pulling through, but I'm going to show you how to do two. So take two rubber bands and pull it back on the hook. Take this groupling of rubber bands and pull it onto this band and push it back on the hook. Repeat this step once more to get a longer dangling thing. You can make it as long as you want, but I'm going to make it two. To attach your alien's little alien dangler, keep it carefully on the hook and slide it onto that top pin, releasing it off your hook and onto the top pin. Your loom should look like this. Now we need to create your alien's ears. For your alien's ears, take a single green band and wrap it around your hook three times to create four loops. Take two green rubber bands and pull it through this top part of your hook, like so. Pull the gathering of bands over onto these two bands and double them over. Repeat this step two more times. Repeat this step two more times, taking two green bands and pulling them back on this top part of your hook. Pull over the green bands and loop them back onto your hook. Repeat the looping step one more time so that you have three loops on your hook.
your hook should look like mine. To attach it to the loom, take the four bands on your hook and put it on this top pin. You can put it on either the left or the right pin. I chose to put mine on the left. Now repeat the step again. You can pause here to make the other ear. To attach it to the loom, repeat the same step that you did last time, but on the opposite peg this time. Your loom should look like mine. We now need to cap the head of your alien. Take a single green band and wrap it around these three pegs to form a triangle. Take another green and wrap it around the three eye pegs, covering them, also forming a triangle. Repeat this step once more, covering the ears, alien, dangler, and the other ear. Your loom should look like mine. It is now time to loop your design. Stick your hook underneath the three bands here, which is the cap band, the dark blue cap band, and the light blue cap band. Loop around and pull straight forward. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Make sure to push back on all the cap bands. Your loom should look like mine. Now taking your hook, go down the middle peg and loop straight forward. Your loom should look like mine. Continue looming up on your design until you reach these two shoulder pegs. Now that you have loomed to up here, it is time to loop Just kidding, I'll edit that out and continue. Now that you have loomed to up here, it's time to loop the arms. Go underneath the green cap band, around grabbing the two blue, making sure that they don't slip off the peg, loop it around and on to the shoulder pin, like so. Repeat the step on the other side. Make sure the cap band does not fall off the peg. Now continue looping down the middle row. Stick your hook underneath all the bands here and grab the bottom two purple and loop them onto that center pin. Repeat on the opposite side. Make sure to only grab the two bottom purple. You have just looped the body of your alien. Stick your hook through all of the purple and blue bands and grab the bottom four green. Make sure to only grab the green. Your loom should look like mine. Stick your hook down through this peg right here 
and grab the top two green. They should loop out to your left. Repeat this step, grabbing the next two bands, and they should loop out to your right. Grab the bottom two bands, the last two bands, and loop straight up. Your loom should look like mine. Stick your hook down on the left side of your loom, grab the bottom two green, and loop straight up. Repeat this step on the other side. Bottom two green, looming forward. Repeat this step in the center of your loom. Stick your hook underneath the cap band and grab the bottom two green bands. Loop upward. Repeat this step on the opposite side. Going underneath the cap bands and only grabbing the bottom two green. Your loom should look like mine. Stick your hook underneath the ear and all the cap bands and grab those bottom two bands and loop them onto that last pin. Repeat this step on the opposite side, grabbing only the bottom two green. Now loop up the center once more. You have now finished looping your alien creation. To tie a slip knot and secure your design, take a single green, sticking your hook through all of the bands, taking a single green, you need to pull through all of those bands. You have now formed a slip knot and your design is ready to be taken off of the loom. This is my adorable alien fresh off the loom. You can adjust the ears out a little bit and pull this up to your liking. I think this design is super adorable. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow us on Instagram at Rainbow Loomtivities. Thanks for watching. Bye!